Hello friends, welcome. IMI claim submission process. IMI claim submission process has been extended. The last day has been extended till Jan 3rd. You can see, go to the home website. Once you click on home website, you will be able to see the last date of claim submission as is extended up to 3rd January 2021 and depositor who neither have an Aadhaar number nor bank account in the country as well as those who don't have ID allotted by IMA have also been facilitated to fill online claims please check the website i've already explained how to do it in my last video please check my last video on this and um, it it's a great news they told uh, the date was 24 till 5 30 pm itself now they have extended the date and feedbacks and queries if they have any feedbacks and queries that have been answered let's see last okay when is the last date for online submission? Lately, I have been informed it's 3rd of Jan. How correct is the above? 3rd Jan is the last date of submission. Sorry for my voice. And sir, I have submitted my application through citizen login with the Aadhaar OTP verification and the bank data are same as IMA database and completed second stage also. What would be there? We have received the message and acknowledgement successfully. Nothing has to be done. Hi sir, how does ECMS transfer? I have account in Canada Bank. Need to transfer one rupee IMI account to HDFC. Try net banking NFT or visit the bank. Should I submit the e-attested document by Tarsilla before 24? Last date is 24 February. 20. Last date has been extended till 3rd Jan 2020. Who can file the claim? The depositor. And a um, lot of things they have answered. Okay. Hello, I am Abdul. I have uploaded the claim twice by mistake. I have got two claim numbers. What is the procedure? Latest claim ID will be one the valid. Hello, sir, ma'am. I completed through Aadhaar authentication. Then I transfer one rupee to complete second stage. There is two CMS number. In claim status, it's showing nil and what should I do? Whichever the latest ID is available, less, that is one the valid. Whose other number has to be provided in case of death of person? No, no many other has to be provided. Hi team, I have completed all the steps in the claim process. Could you please verify me to do more steps? Check your claim status or call up the call center. Unable to authenticate. Try other biometric or go to UTR option. Okay. And Namaste sir, I have submitted claim online and I have got the number, the amount claimed is correct, all the details, please verify and confirm whether my claim is received. Please check the claim status, contact the call center number, you can contact this call center number 08046885955. Hi, my claim status shows all this not applicable e attestation additional bank can you please confirm do i need to if nothing is reflected in your acknowledgement you need not do anything not applicable not required to be done None. dear sir and madam i am from hyderabad my mother health is not good and cannot come to bank for claiming i am not able to submit the claim due to error message try visiting the nearest nearby cyber center or call up the call center for further guidelines Okay, I've answered a few of the feedbacks, queries, and, and everything. And people who want to watch it can watch all these details. And it, uh, great news is it's been extended. People from abroad can also apply for this. And people who don't have a um, uh, higher my customer or client ID, they can also apply for this. And the applicant doing identity authority through UTR can transfer one rupee or give on uh, transfer one rupee and give them a missed call also and know your claim status you can look in the claim status through cms number or client and customer id and uh, if you like this video please do like share subscribe and thank you for watching